somehow. looks good up there. Doesn't do anything useful, but it looks cool. Yeah, get off my hand, stupid bird. <laughs> Shoot, get away. <laughs> All right. Oh, I think I know. All right. I think it will make the barrel fall. Back off, woman. Back off, woman. Never. Oh yeah, that doh doesn't look too so safe. Barrel breaks, Winslow is gonna be mad. Winslow is tied up, so every enemy I've met, I've <laughs> annihilated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Damn, she knows it. All right. Behind you, a three-headed sea chip. No thanks. I've already had lunch. Ooh. Ooh. That's taking it too far. <laughs> yeah. All right, bird, do your thing. Sorry, Morgan. I hate to do this to a fan, but you did cut off my hand. What? Uh oh. Ah! No. You are good, guy, brush three foot. Well, I hate to battle and run, but I've got to see a doctor about this hand. Hmm. Here I come, Captain Threefoot. Where is the lass? A runner through it, use her for fish bait. She's gone. And she took my hand. Evil. Let her go, Mr. Winslow. I've got to find Elaine. Last time I saw her, she was falling into LeChuck's evil clutches. Looked like a cheerful, friendly moment to Evil me. clutches. Evil clutches. Remember that. We're not going far with the mast in that shape. The cowardly cutthroat must have released the counterweight I set up to keep the mast balanced. Now it's cracked. It is? It is indeed. It may be just a hairline fracture, but I can tell. We'll have to take it easy until we can get her fixed. Very well, Mr. Winslow. We'll head for the Jerkbait Islands. Right! We can have our mast repaired there. Uh, sure. Also, that's the direction Elaine was headed. I'll steer while you navigate. I mounted the map outside your quarters for your convenience. I know. Oh, yeah. So, this was fairly easy. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Oh, we can go back to Flotsam. That's strange. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. So we have the Rock of Gelato. Jerkbait Island. And Flotsam. Hmm. Are we there yet, Mr. Winslow? Hey, Captain! Spinner K, the main epicenter of the Jerkbait Islands. Looks nice. Where is everybody? Hmm. It's been many years since I've been here. But if the city is still inhabited by merfolk, I'd say underwater. Oh, merfolk. merfolk. <laughs> Maybe I'll meet a pretty mermaid. Eh, well, uh, you're right. Maybe later. First, I've got to make sure Elaine is safe from the evil of LeChuck. Don't forget, before we can set out to sea again, we'll need our mast repaired. Right, right, we need a plastic pair, got it. <laughs> Mermaids. Plastic pair. Yeah. Ah, I love this music. It's so soothing. Let's look around. Oh, there are some folks. Ooh. Hi, sailor. Ah. Oh, take it easy. A big, strong pirate like yourself afraid of a little old McKinley like me? <laughs> Sorry about that. Are you a merman? <laughs> you a FL merman? So, are you a mer... That's right. I am 100% proud McKaylian merfolk. Tail kind of gave it away, huh? So what brings you to Spinner K? 
All right. I think he's a dude. Or not. Do you know where I can get my mask repaired? I sure do. There's a shop right inside our town. Just follow the cave path and it'll take you right there. Ever hear of a man named Dakaba? I'm supposed to show him this locket. You mean crazy sponge guy? Yeah, I remember him. Last time I saw him, he was putting together a crew to go after some mystical sea urchin or something. Haven't seen him in a while though. He used to have a little shelter out on Roe Island. All right. I'm looking for my wife, Elaine. She's the most beautiful pirate you've ever seen. With silky red hair and eyes as green as summer grog. Oh, that's so sweet. You know, I think I did see her. She and that other guy arrived about an hour before you did. <gasps> you saw Elaine with Let some other guy? Who was he? Some big jerk? I could probably take him. You know, if I had to. But Elaine is usually okay, right? Yeah, I think so. She went right over to the royal chamber, and the guy set off into the jungles with an armful of monkeys. Royal chamber, got it. I'll deal with the monkey smuggler later. Freaking Lechuk. All right. <laughs> cool raft. Can I ride it? Do you have a pass? Uh, I do not. Well, I can't let you get by on your good looks alone. You're gonna have to get yourself a transit pass. All right. Where can I get one? Where can I get a transit pass? You may be able to get one from our chieftain, Beluga, and the royal chain. But it looks like there's some kind of dispute going on right now. Right. That run. I gotta run. Uh, no offense. None taken. <laughs> he, she is cool. Wow. There's a thing in there. Give me what I want, or we'll tear your whole town to pieces looking. You and your men shall not have the ancient summoning artifacts. Then maybe we'll move on to your innits and tear those to pieces looking, you overgrown tadpole. Please calm down. I'm sure we can find a solution that works for everyone. Elaine. Guybrush. Elaine. Plunder money. Guybrush, thank goodness you're all right. I've been worried sick about you. First the explosion, then that big cloud of voodoo pops you released from the chuck started infecting pirates all over the Caribbean. That was an accident. The sword was crooked. The spell was misspelled. The breathments had artificial ingredients. It wasn't my fault. I bet there was a conspiracy. Oh my god! Your hand! Yeah. That hand. What's that? <coughs> what happened to your <laughs> hand? And where is your wedding ring? Uh -oh. Um, well, it happened like this. Arr, I should get you where you stand. Uh, I better get back there before they kill each other. Here, take my ring. Oh, no, that's the one I... Just take it. Trust me. And don't lose it, guy brush three wood. Oh, I oh, bet we will. Who's absent-minded enough to lose two wedding rings? <laughs> ah, it's me, guy brush three wood. Why do you fire? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go. Sorry, uh, we'll continue. Alright, I forgot to uh, activate my microphone, so... Alright, so let's go up here and talk to these guys. What's everybody talking about? Me and my men seem to have come down with a touch of the sickly box. And these half-breed halibuts know how to get a hold of a cure, but they won't give it up! We'll never give you the summoning items, Captain McGillicuddy. McGillicuddy. Not after the years of polluting our sacred waters. So we accidentally spilt a few barrels of spoiled grog over the years. Mm -hmm. Accidentally, my dorsal fin. Ah, oh, shut your blowhole! Gentlemen, please. I'm sure you and Chieftain Beluga can come to some kind of agreement. 